Welcome to Shah Medical Surgical. In today's video, we will explain how prostate cancer is diagnosed and treated. This video is packed with detailed medical knowledge, so make sure to watch till the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more medical content. Introduction Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers affecting men worldwide. It can be slow-growing and remain undetected for years, but in aggressive cases, it can spread beyond the prostate and become life-threatening. The key to successful treatment is early detection. We use multiple diagnostic tools, including PSA, prostate-specific antigen, blood test, digital rectal examination, DRE, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, with PIRADS scoring Gleason scoring from a prostate biopsy. These tests help us categorize prostate cancer into low-risk, medium-risk, or high-risk cases, allowing for a personalized treatment approach. Let's explore these diagnostic methods in detail. PSA, prostate-specific antigen. Test the PSA test is one of the first-line screenings for prostate cancer. PSA is a protein produced by the prostate gland that is naturally found in a man's bloodstream. Normal PSA levels are below 4 nanograms per milliliter. PSA levels between 4 to 10 nanograms per milliliter indicate a moderate risk, requiring further tests. A PSA level above 10 nanograms per milliliter raises concern and strongly suggests the need for MRI, biopsy, and further evaluation. However, PSA alone is not enough to confirm cancer. Other conditions like benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, and prostatitis can also cause high PSA levels, so we need additional tests. Digital Rectal Examination, DRE, findings. The Digital Rectal Exam, DRE, is a simple but important test where a doctor inserts a gloved finger into the rectum to feel the prostate. A normal prostate should feel soft, smooth, and symmetrical. A prostate with cancer may feel hard, irregular, nodular, or asymmetrical. Although DRE alone cannot diagnose prostate cancer, it helps detect abnormalities and guides further testing. Gleason score, how we grade cancer aggressiveness. When a biopsy is performed, the tissue sample is examined under a microscope to determine the Gleason score. This score tells us how aggressive the cancer is. Gleason score six, low risk, slow growing cancer. Gleason score seven, intermediate risk, may require treatment. Gleason score 8 to 10. High risk, aggressive cancer requiring urgent treatment. The Gleason score is one of the most important factors in deciding treatment options. MRI and PI RADS classification. MRI helps in detailed imaging of the prostate. PI RADS, Prostate Imaging Reporting and Data System, classifies the risk level. PI RADS 1 to 2. Low risk, unlikely to be cancer. PI RADS 3. Uncertain, requires biopsy. PI RADS 4 to 5, high suspicion of cancer, requiring immediate action. A PI RADS 4 to 5 lesion combined with a high PSA or abnormal DRE is a strong indication for biopsy. Treatment options based on risk level 1. Low risk prostate cancer, PSA less than 10. Gleason 6, PI RADS 1 to 2. For patients with low-risk prostate cancer, the best approach is active surveillance. Since the cancer is slow-growing and may never cause symptoms, immediate treatment is not necessary. The patient undergoes regular PSA tests, MRI scans, and occasional biopsies. No immediate surgery or radiation is needed. Lifestyle modifications like a healthy diet, regular exercise, and avoiding smoking help keep the prostate healthy. Treatment is only considered if PSA levels rise, MRI shows progression or symptoms develop. 2. Medium Risk Prostate Cancer, PSA 10 to 20, Gleason 7, PI RADS 3 to 4. For medium risk prostate cancer, we need definitive treatment to prevent progression. Radical prostatectomy, the prostate is surgically removed. External beam radiation therapy, EBRT, high energy X-rays destroy cancer cells. Brachytherapy, radioactive seeds are implanted inside the prostate to target cancer directly. In some cases, hormone therapy is used before or after radiation therapy to improve outcomes. Three high-risk prostate cancer, PSA greater than 20, Gleason 8 to 10, 
PI RADS 4 to 5. For patients with high risk prostate cancer, aggressive treatment is required to stop the cancer from spreading. Radical prostatectomy with lymph node removal is usually performed. Radiation therapy is used if cancer has spread beyond the prostate. Hormone therapy lowers testosterone levels to slow down cancer growth. In some cases, chemotherapy is required to destroy aggressive cancer cells. This category requires urgent and continuous monitoring. Advanced metastatic prostate cancer, cancer spread beyond prostate. If prostate cancer has spread to bones, lymph nodes, lungs or liver, it is considered metastatic cancer. Hormone therapy, androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, reduces testosterone, slowing cancer growth. Chemotherapy, e.g. docetaxel, used when hormone therapy is no longer effective. Radiation therapy helps relieve bone pain and other symptoms. Immunotherapy and targeted therapy, new treatments that may be used in advanced cases. Although metastatic prostate cancer is not curable, treatments can extend life and improve quality of life. Prevention and early detection. The best way to fight prostate cancer is early detection. Men over 50 years old should have annual PSA and DRE tests. Those with a family history of prostate cancer should start screening earlier. A healthy lifestyle with a balanced diet, exercise and avoiding processed meats can reduce risk. If you notice weak urine flow, frequent urination at night, or blood in urine, see a doctor immediately. Conclusion and call to action. Prostate cancer is highly treatable when caught early. By understanding PSA, Gleason score, DRE and MRI PI RADS classification, we can determine the best treatment. If you found this information helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Shah Medical Surgical for more medical content. Stay informed, stay healthy.